All right, so today I'm just gonna show you real quick an exercise that I've done before in the past. I do on all my horses, but I'm gonna add a little wrinkle to it. I put draw reins on. Um, I've got them set up right now, going to the top of my cinch through the bridle. This is a three-year-old here. That's pretty good changing leads. Um, he's right at the spot where he changes good. Sometimes he kind of elevates a little, but it's kind of a gray area where everything feels pretty good. And I feel like we're kind of constantly in the same pattern to where he does this, I react. And uh, then it's like, it's almost like a game where he's not really getting what I want, that I want him to stay elevated all the way through that lead change. So these draw reins are good because it kind of helps with that. It kind of also gives you a little wiggle room. So if you move your hands a little fast, it doesn't hit that horse hard. If the horse moves its head fast, it doesn't hit him hard, but it kind of keeps a little pressure on them all the way through. Because if they learn through pressure release, I don't want to release that pressure until they're doing it exactly the way you want. So I'm going to jump right into it with old bullet here. I believe that if you are consistent, patient with this, in about three days, you are going to improve your lead change for the better. Big thing is staying patient. What we're going to do is going to almost kind of look like we're fencing. We're going to go the short distance of the arena. If you don't have a fence, that's fine too. All you just need is a straight line. And I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to get into the lope and we're going to break this lead, ch lead change down for a second. Lope up on the right lead. Break him down at the end. So all I did there on that right lead was I squeezed my left leg on him to set him up for a change to move him over and to move him forward. This horse, if you think about it, if they're raising their head, you know, they're, they, they, you know, it could be related to him being a little stiff in the face, but usually it's a impulsion thing. He's not going forward enough. So I need both on this horse. And this horse happens to be a little bit lazy. So um, I kind of know that's, that's in him. So for starters, again, I'm just gonna go almost like fencing. I could start off just going perfectly straight like this. Do not get caught up in trying to work on the stop on this. This is not a stopping exercise. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Lope off on the right lead. Pick my hands up, move him over. He moved over, great. Release, let him break down. That's the first piece of my lead change, in my opinion. Lope off on the left lead, show you. Pick up, squeeze my right leg to move him over. Good. Now that looked pretty effortless, but if I didn't have those draw reins on, when I went to move him over, he kind of stalled out. He would have raised his head, got out of position. This way he can get right into frame, I can release, and I think kind of using these as training wheels, it shows the horse the path to get the release. And I believe this, these horses are smart enough, they'll figure it out. I can pull these reins off and we can just continue right on. Lope up straight, pick up, move them over. If I feel any anxiety, I'll just break the horse down, meaning if they start speeding up or getting worried, bring them to this end, let them rest. This also ends up being a good exercise for horses that you know, are maybe a little worried about the fence because they're gonna see it a gazillion times. So again, I'm gonna work one more time on this first part, lope off, move them over. The whole horse moves over laterally. He moved over great. I could either break him down Walk up to the fence, I can lope all the way up to the fence. Now, once I've gotten through this, I'm gonna go ahead and ask for the change and I wanna have the same thought. I'm thinking about changing leads here, or changing lanes here, let's say. I'm going, if I'm going straight, when I wanna move him off, if I'm right lead, squeeze my left leg, change my lane, I could go straight like I've been doing, or I could ask him to change back into the lane that he was just in, which that's when the lead change occurs. So I'm not even really thinking about a change. I'm more thinking about change, or not, I'm not thinking about changing leads. I don't want to complicate this. I'm thinking about that change of lane or change of direction. I want him to go forward in the bridle, smooth. If he can do that laterally both ways, it's almost impossible for him not to change leads. Now some of our horses that uh, aren't great movers kind of gets a little more complicated, but this is not one here. A lope off, move him over, move him over back. Okay, <laughs> this horse typically doesn't come right out of the uh, gate changing leads like that. He usually is giving me a little bit of uh, 
some stuff to show you guys today. That was textbook right there. Move him over. There, moving back. So there, he changed leads good, but he kind of dove his front end over. With this draw rein, I was already right there. I was able to catch him, no big deal, move forward. And I'll just go try it again. Left lead, change lane, change back, good. So now you can maybe see a little bit what I'm talking about, how he's getting a little rigid. I think that's because he's not going forward enough. And I love these draw reins because it's just got everything really contained and in control. I'm going to speed him up. Speed him up. Ah, there's my spot right there. And then I can branch off here because he kind of faded off to the right, bad or lean. Take him off this way. Go back, do it again. Move him off my right leg. Much better. Now, if you want to, if you want to give him even another little reminder at the end, you can side pass him off your leg. If you feel like they need a little reminder, which I think Bullet did right there, I'm just asking to move off that leg a little. And that's all that lead change is. It's just getting real good control of your horse's entire body, specifically lateral. Move him over. Okay, now that time when I moved him over, I felt like he was anticipating that I was gonna go ahead and change leads and change him back the other direction. So I just simply said, no, no, no. I'm gonna keep fading you off to the left and then take him here to break down. Make sure you mix this up, that you've got a little change up in your pattern or your routine, because otherwise they're gonna anticipate bad. Move him over. Really good and break him down really good. That time felt great. Now I'm gonna go through on the right lead and in the middle, I'm just gonna ask him to break down to the wall. Why would I do that? Well, I've just set up the lead change 10 times. I've changed leads on him probably 10 times. He's gonna get to the middle and think something's gonna happen. And I just want him to still, he's just three. I want him to think about, you know, I, I don't want him to be getting anxious, I guess is what I'm getting at. So I'm gonna lope off and right lead. Hmm. Break him down. So he kind of missed my signal. Normally this horse, if I just whisper, he's trying to walk. It wasn't terrible there, but he was definitely thinking something else. So I'm just gonna take a couple minutes here. Get that back. Miss it again. I'll break him down, maybe even move him off that leg to kind of stick with the same program. Walk him up here to the end. Very important after whatever you do to the middle, whether you break him down, whether you move him off your leg, whether you change leads, once they get through that, let them chill out here. Let them have a chance to breathe and relax. Better? And think about this, the way we're practicing this change with these draw reins, we're keeping everything right where it's supposed to be and we're making this happen right on a straight line. We're not going at a counter canner and doing it that way. It's smack dab in the middle, right how you would have to do when you show, which I think is the best way to do it. There, that's what I wanted right there. It's to break down. So that was pretty good right there. And the great thing about this, if you take your time, you're not gonna wear your horse out loping from side to side. And as long as you stay smart and mix it up, if you feel your horse is getting nervous, just slow things down, break them down to the walk and continue to move them off your leg. Keep everything real quiet. You could practice this till, till uh, you know, honestly, I mean, I've had some horses I've spent half a day just slowly working at it, working at it, working at it. I'll guarantee you in three days or less, your lead change will be significantly better practicing this way. Are you looking to step your game up? Perfect. All you have to do is go to mattmillsrainy.com it's only $24.95 a month. Sign up today because the key to success is knowing.